Russia's much-vaunted Day of Unification holiday on Saturday was marked by a grand speech from President Putin, but a touch of confusion and mixed messages from other Kremlin officials. The day was supposed to celebrate the first anniversary of the signing of the so-called agreements on the inclusion of new territories into the Russian Federation, the illegal annexation of Ukrainian lands occupied by Moscow's forces. But in marking the day, it became apparent the Kremlin had not specified exactly which lands these were. Putin addressed the nation on Saturday to mark the anniversary of the annexations, calling them a historic choice by the people living there to reunite with the fatherland. This was in marked contrast to a post from the Kherson Oblast Occupation Administration, which showed a map with Russian territory extending only to roughly areas corresponding to the present front lines. Further adding to the confusion, Russian Security Council Deputy Chairperson Dmitry Medvedev said the war in Ukraine will continue until the original Russian territories are liberated, though he failed to state what these actually were. In a bombastic speech, he added, the special military operation will continue until the complete destruction of the Nazi regime in Kyiv. Victory will be ours, and there will be more new regions within Russia. Again, he did not specify what these new regions would be. The ISW concluded, Medvedev's unclear statement and occupation officials' disparate maps indicate that the Kremlin has yet to clarify what territories it claims to have annexed or intends to annex. According to the Institute for the Study of War, Sevastopol occupation governor Mikhail Razvozhaev got fully behind the message in a post on Telegram, which declared the entirety of Crimea and Luhansk, Donetsk, Zaporizhia, and Kherson oblasts as Russian territory. Footage of the battles near Bakhmut from the main Directorate of Intelligence of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine. Surrender is the only option for the invaders to survive. Russians were asked which politicians do they trust. Скажите, пожалуйста, есть общественные деятели или политики, которыми, которым вы доверяете сейчас? Затрудняюсь, но Владимир Владимирович Путин. Ага. А можете сказать именно почему? Все время он сделал большое выражение в страну, говоря простым сельским языком, поднял страну с колен. То есть поднял экономику. Угу. А можете привести пример, каким образом? То есть, что стало лучше, на ваш взгляд? Во-первых, начали выплачивать пенсии, да, что не было в советское время. А Во-вторых, очень много рабочих мест появилось. То есть, и плюс он, и он финансирует новые идеи, те же индивидуальных предпринимателей, да, которые только начинают свою деятельность, в сфере бизнеса. Угу. А скажите, пожалуйста, а есть кто-нибудь еще, кроме Владимира Владимировича, кого бы вы могли назвать? К сожалению, только Вадим Владимирович Путин. То есть больше вообще никого? Да. На, На данный момент? Да. Нету. Нету. Ни одного, не можете ни одной фамилии назвать. А если его можно назвать политиком, Ходорковский. Почему? А почему? Да. Навальный, допустим, еще плюс. 
я бы добавил. Ну, потому что они говорят правду на самом деле, про то, что творится. Угу. Ну, их многие слушают, я думаю, вы знаете, что на протест Навального, допустим, пришли очень много людей. Угу. И я думаю, правильный выбор для меня, как для человека, который хочет свободы. Вот так. But Putin says, trust no one. For the first time, Iranian ammunition appeared in official footage from the Russian Ministry of Defense, showing Iranian 122mm HE frag rockets of the Arash family for BM-21 Grad MRLs. The use of Iranian Grad rocket were first reported by us back in the late August. The Second World Military need help from Iran? Clowns. The provision of Bayraktar Akinci drones to Ukraine is under consideration, Halak Bayraktar said in an interview with Radio Liberty. As for Bayraktar Akinci, this issue is under consideration. The Ukrainian military is well aware of what it can manufacture and invest in. So their plan is to manufacture all the systems they have. They have the necessary permissions for this. Therefore, Ukraine can fully manufacture Bayraktar TB2 instead of assembling it. Also, they can fully produce Bayraktar Akinci. They have permission for this from the government, which shows how close they are to implementation. And Ukraine is the first country that has such permission. Because defense cooperation requires state permits, and they have this permit. A Russian BMP-3 cooks off with a turret toss after being hit by a Ukrainian FPV loitering munition from the 65th Mechanized Brigade in Zaporizhia Oblast. In the city of Tobolsk, there was a gas explosion and a large fire started in a residential building. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warhawk Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description.